welcome to Gamecast Hump Day, where we just basically do a roundup of some news of this week, right? From Tuesday to Tuesday, right? We got four topics that I would love to actually talk about here. Um, some things are kind of pseudo game related, some things that are not. Firstly, Netflix is in the news and they're not doing too well in terms of stocks, right? We got a Motor Storm reboot. Mm. <laughs> we have Apple trying to join the fray in terms of making a console. We have a Microsoft conference and their um, talks about, you know, Game Pass and how successful that's doing. And then last but not least, we have some new news on Horizon Forbidden West. Honestly, I'm so glad that IGN did something right, finally. <laughs> um, I have to give props where props is due. They have a very comprehensive coverage. Instant gratification, instant loving. I'm tired as hell because I watched that video like two, three times. So either way, let's talk about it. Firstly, Netflix is in the news, right? And how does that relate to gaming? Well, subscription services, right? You know, everyone wants to be a subscription service nowadays. Everybody wants to get into it. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Anyway, Netflix shares has dropped 43%, netting a uh, drop in sh uh, 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 company value of $120 billion. They basically stated that, well, I mean, we can't really grow that much anymore. That's pretty much it. You know, we could try to go to China and other places, but this is where it's at. 246 million uh, subscribers, and it scared the shit out of investors to the point where they all started pouring their shit out because they, you know, <laughs> they, they thought that they were going to make some sort of profit or expand some type of way. And this is basically right on the walls for any kind of subscription services. Roku fell. Um, the Viacom CBS fell. It's Paramount, I believe. Um, Disney Plus fell. Uh, Discovery um, fell. I mean, they slipped 7 and 9 and 5% respectively. But damn, like people that champion for these subscription services realize this there's just some there's some countries that can't do it and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because of obviously game pass game pass listen when it comes to game pass subscription services are just not it it's not it it's not it I'm sorry to tell you i'm sorry to break it down i'm sorry to break it to you it's not it you know what i'm saying it, it can't be sustainable i mean think about the countries that don't have really good internet you know how are they going to use utilize the service? So to reach two billion people, it really doesn't really make sense. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense. And that's what I wanted to kind of say about that topic. Uh, coming up next, this is a really, really short topic about Apple and them wanting to uh, jump into console gaming again. They've done this in the 90s and failed. So just because you have money doesn't mean that it's all successful. I mean, Microsoft could tell you all about that, right? Zoom. Was it Zoom? Zoom is actually what it was called. Mixer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Either way, supposedly, uh, <laughs> Apple is poaching Xbox engineers to make its own console, according to uh, Jazz Corden. I don't know how, you know, reliable his source is. I don't really care. But I do know console gaming is not an easy thing to jump into. I mean, obviously, with the trillions of money, uh monies that microsoft has to offer they still weren't able to kind of crack that um so there's that you know what i'm saying um i don't know why they're poaching <laughs> xbox engineers when they're not really successful that's that's uh that's that's um it's curious <laughs> um so there's that <laughs> Then we have coming up next, um, my, uh, not Microsoft, MotorStorm. Apparently, that's coming back. MotorStorm reboot is actually, or at least supposedly, do you know, with rumors, they're talking about making that, uh, <laughs> bringing that back into the forefront to be kind of like a counter um, competitor to the Gran Turismo series. Basically, Sony's own, uh, what do you fucking call it, uh, Forza Horizon. It's stupid because Sony already had this fucking thing and they decided to fire everybody else. Now, um, supposedly they are getting, or at least they're getting people from the Lucid Games, which 
a lot of people from Lucid Games went to Fire Sprite, I believe, and Fire Sprite is made up of the same developers that made Motorstorm, so that's basically coming back full circle. I would love to see another next generation Motorstorm, as you can see in the background here. Oh man, Drive Club was such a fucking beautiful game. Let's look at it. Damn. That shit's crazy. But um, I would love to see them actually make another Drive Club. Um, not Drive Club. Well, yeah, Drive Club too. But, you know, Motorstorm. I would like to see them make another Motorstorm and have all the fucking chaos. If you want to know anything, um, if you want to know more about Motorstorm, just take a look at YouTube. Look at Motorstorm Apocalypse. That shit was fucking crazy. I just, I don't think it was ahead of its time. I just think it was one of those situations where Sony just didn't have enough pull to kind of make that series successful. And that's unfortunate there. Um, but, you know, who knows what's going on in the hustle and bustle of uh, of uh, Lucid Games and Fire Sprite. So that's what I'm hearing. That's the rumblings that you would most likely hear there, too. Um, so there's that. Coming up next is a Microsoft conference, actually. I don't want to go too, too deeply into the Microsoft conference because I don't, you know, I didn't look at it, but some things of uh, note, just put it that way. Uh, Microsoft is up at it again, using colorful words and, you know, being Lokis of the gaming world, right? So they saw a record engagement during the past quarter from October to December of 2021. Now think about it. They released Forza Horizon 5, I believe it is. You know what I'm saying? And it got a lot of, you know, kind of buzz because of the graphics. And it looked like it was his first next generation experience. Experience. So that's what was going on with that in general. So I'm like, oh, so that's what this is all about, right? Um, they said they had 18 million people. Uh, they said 18 million people have played Forza Horizon 5. Now that says has played. And it doesn't tell any context of what that means exactly. And they say also that 20 million have also played Halo Infinite, the biggest launch for the IP. These colorful words that they decide to use, have played, it doesn't mean have bought, and the game is different because guess what? It's a subscription services. Now, how can they compare that to a launch of a, uh, you know, basically of a physical copy? I, I mean, I don't know. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Like, it just, I don't know. That shit's kind of scummy. I ain't even hold you. It's scummy to me. Like, all these colorful fucking words. I don't have time for this shit, yo. Be clear. Speak clearly. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we got our last topic, which is Horizon Forbidden West and what IGN was saying about that. We basically are going to close it out with Horizon Forbidden West. If you haven't seen the previews, it's kind of spoilerific. I'm just going to tell you right now. So, if you don't mind it and i will say it's the first couple of hours of the game and this game is supposed to be a pretty long game um but they mentioned a lot of cool things here firstly they mentioned that horizon has like a online leaderboards where you can take down machines in like um some kind of arena um you could take it down and it puts you in a uh uh you know it, it records all that shit and leaderboards and whatnot but furthermore they kind of i feel like they downplayed the um the climbing mechanics they kind of went along and said that, well, you know, there's a climbing mechanics, it's it's fine and blase blase, right? But at the same time, she should be able to climb anywhere. That's what they claimed, anywhere that looks like it. Now, they did like a little post thing that they did that you could do in the original uh, Horizon, right? Um, so it would shoot out a pulse and then you'd be able to see that. Uh, now, if you ever played Death Stranding, th the same thing happened, and it would show you kind of rough terrain with, like, these red X's, um, and then everything that was green, it was a go. So it looks like that's that's happening here, too, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, so she, she should be able to climb anywhere. Uh, the facial expressions are really fucking ridiculous. God, that looks crazy. Also, Digital Foundry is going to be all over this, so mark this, right? If you ever played any kind of multiplayer games, um, or not multiplayer games, if you ever played any kind of games in general and they have like quick camera cuts, the physics for the hair or any kind of soft body thing kind of pops. So it looks like there's like little pauses between cuts there. So that's what they were kind of doing there. Listen, um, facial expressions, the grass that will make Ghost of Tsushima's game uh, blush. This shit is crazy. My dude, just go ahead and look that shit up. It's crazy. If you don't mind spoilers, 
it is what it is, right? But thank you for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday.